point. But this right here, it works just fine. It just doesn't match anymore. It's old and it's, the paint is chipping. So we bought that new vent hood. But I decided that this one's still working. I'd rather just go ahead and invest that money in something else and we can paint this. So that's what I'll be trying to do. It is this old cream color. We will be um, updating to stainless steel. This is steel wool pads and then some water and just clean it. So I'm just gonna go over the whole thing with the rust and the grease. This before I go, I just had to show you something. Look, <laughs> look who just cannot. <laughs> Z, you climbed up on the counter because you want to be in this video. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome? Okay. So I may have made a mistake. I've got the steel wood on, but when I came back, it was bubbled up like this. Okay, so I did spray this easy off stuff up there oven cleaner some cheap oven cleaner this is the um the paint that i'll be using but anyway when i came back it was bubbled up so i said well maybe i don't know let me try to use the steel wool and it came off oh my god y'all what is i think i done made a huge mistake okay so i have started taking the paint off. I've been using steel wool pad, the sponge right here, and container with this wire brush. To, it's dark in here, but to get the inside and try to scrape off the paint. So I may or may not try to get any more of this off. I'm just going to get what comes off. I'm not going to try to force it off. So if it comes off, I'm gonna take it off but if not I'm gonna leave it on there I think I might have to go back to Lowe's and get some metal primer now that all the paint is off but I'm not sure I have to do some research on that but so the next clip hopefully you will see more progress all right See the difference? This is the painted shiny and the bare metal. So this is after the first coat of that rust aluminum paint. It looks pretty good. I mean, you can't see some brush marks, but I'm hoping. Okay, baby. I'm hoping to fix that with the next coat. I'm gonna use the brush and just paint it the inside and over here. This is just tape where the um the manufacturer sticker was. I didn't want to paint over that in case I needed it. So here's the other side. And see, this is what I was talking about when I was trying to get into those cracks over there is when the paint was dripping out. But this is the results. I got paint everywhere after the first coat. Thin coats. Um, I didn't see that it mattered which direction you went in. See, you can barely lightly see the brush strokes and here it was a drip and I kind of just 
um, went over it with the brush to remove the bulk of it so when I go over with the final coat I think it's only gonna take two it probably really could just do it one but I think I'm gonna do two to kind of eliminate some of these brush strokes but it does look okay so eight dollars compared to replacing it would have been hundred and seventy dollars I think that's what we paid for the one that we purchased and took back but this as you can see as you can see messy messy job but it if it works I think it's worth it so just stay tuned to find out okay so this is after coat one I was not going to do another coat but I think I am what happened was here it was um it had a spot so I decided to try to touch it up but when I did that it pulled it lifted the paint when I pulled the tape back here you can see it leaked under there so I'm debating should I attempt to clean that up these little areas or should I just go ahead and just repaint just paint over this whole thing anyway so let's get a close-up look so here is where the paint didn't come off where the paint came off completely it looks really good it looks just smooth just like a you know factory finish but you can see where the paint was still on there you can see it has a little bit of texture this is where the you can barely tell but the um, line from the paint and this is where on here that's where I scratched it to see if it was hardened already so I read the directions on the can and it said dries in about 24 hours root Re recoat when dry so I guess it's no exact time so at least 24 hours but it hadn't been 24 hours also the directions didn't say whether it's sand in between or not I'm assuming that you probably did need to sand but I did sand a couple of spots on here lightly sand so there was a, um, a little mark right here and I just lightly sanded that and where um, the paint if you can remember a lot I was gonna leave it just this one coat. It doesn't look bad at all. It's actually pretty good. Took the paint off. I mean, the tape off. You'll see that in probably another clip. But I decided I wanna kind of smooth out this back portion. Yeah. This I will play that way. Let me This where it was raw metal. It's actually turned out really good. I did lightly sand it. Let's hope that I don't regret this because it did not tell me to send in between.
here. 